Hello, and welcome to another video by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. My name is Anthony, and today we are going to finish the migration that we started in the last video uh, by copying all the email out of our G Suite into our Office 365 uh, subscription. So the first thing we need to do is start inside of the G Suite admin console. So you can see I'm logged in there. And from here, we'll select security. basic settings, and we're going to manage the less secure apps section. And we need to make sure that this is set to enforce access to less secure apps for all users so that we can actually migrate data to Office 365 automatically instead of having to manually do that for each account. And you can see here, I've already got mine set. Uh, it is not set this way by default. Uh, it, Google just advises that it can take up to 24 hours for the setting to apply to all users. So I did it ahead of time in this case. And once we have that sent, we can go ahead and create a spreadsheet with all of our user accounts in it. So here's what that spreadsheet should look like. We have an email address column, we have a username column, and we have a password column. And when you save it, make sure that you need to make sure and set the file type to be CSV, like what I've got here. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the Office 365 admin portal. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the admin app. And on this screen, we have an option for data migration on the left. If we select the option for show all, setup, and data migration. And here, if we're gonna be migrating email, we're gonna select the option for other email sources. And since we're coming from G Suite, we need to enter in the information for G Suite's IMAP server. So IMAP is an email protocol. And the username and password you use here uh, can be any of your domain's usernames and passwords. It's just to verify uh, that it actually works. So I'm gonna select the option for save, and it may take a minute for it to save. But once it does, you, we notice here we're, we're presented with a list of all the users that we have currently in our domain. So these are all the users that we copied uh, from G Suite in the previous video. And using this method doesn't actually give us a way to upload a spreadsheet. So there's not a way to bulk copy all of our users using this method. But if you only have a few users, this is a great way to do it. If you have a lot of users, I want to walk you through how to use that method. We're going to select the option for admin centers and go to the exchange admin center. And here we're going to select recipients on the left. We've got a list of all the users that we, that we have in our domain that have email accounts, but we're going to select the option for migration. So if we select the ellipses and migration endpoints, here is where we're going to create that same migration endpoint that we created before, uh, but this time uh, in exchange. So we're going to select the, the plus sign and we're going to create an IMAP migration endpoint, select next. We're going to put in the information for G Suite's IMAP server. And just give it a name. So we're going to be pretty general here and just call it G Suite. And if there is a limitation on the maximum concurrent migrations, uh, you want to enter it here. And same thing with the syncs. And in this case, I've only got five. So I'm going to go ahead and just click New. There we go. And we'll hit Close on this one. And now, by hitting the plus sign, uh, we can select the option for migrate to exchange online and start our migration. So here we're going to do an IMAP migration. So we're going to select IMAP migration. And this is where we can upload that CSV file. So I'm going to select the option for choose file. I'm going to select my CSV file that I prepared ahead of time, the one that you saw earlier. Select open. And you notice that it detected the four mailboxes in, in here. And we've got that number four mailboxes to migrate. So we'll hit next. It's going to ask me where we're going to migrate from, and it pulled this from our IMAP server. And then since we're doing a, a batch migration, we can give it a name. And we can determine the measurements by which Exchange will consider it to be a failed transfer for the bad item limit and the large item limit. And that's just if it, if it runs into errors along the way. And if you need more information, uh, by just clicking into the fields, it gives you some information about those specifically. 
If we want to exclude any folders that are inside of the mailboxes, we can do that. So for example, if you want to skip all the archive folders, you could do that. But in this case, I'm just going to select next. And here we can select who we want to be notified uh, when the batch is complete. And I'm just going to leave myself selected there since I'm the one managing it. And I also want it to automatically start. So I'm going to leave this, I'm going to leave the default of automatically start the batch selected. So I'll go ahead and click on next. And there, now you can see that we've got our migrate from G Suite with the status of syncing. And if we select the refresh option, we can get the latest details on that migration. There we go. You can also see that we got a notification about it. And that's what we wanted. And depending on the number of mailboxes you have, this can take quite some time. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and then refresh it. So while we're waiting for the sync to complete, one of the things we can do if we have the sync selected on the left is we can click on the view details option underneath the mailbox status. And this will give us some more details about each of the mailboxes sync status. So let's select Andy, for instance, here on the left. On the right, I can scroll down and I, and I can see that the status is syncing. And there is no value for data migrated migration rate or error at this point. So once the sync is complete, you'll notice that we now have the number of synced mailboxes set to four. So if we bring up, so we bring up the Gmail web app uh, for one of our users, Andy, as an example, uh, you'll notice that we've got these email messages in his G Suite mailbox. And if we go over to the Outlook web app, you notice that he's got the same emails there as well. So that is how you migrate email accounts uh, from G Suite to Office 365. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe for more. And remember that Enterprise of Software Solutions is your number one software dudes. Thanks for watching.